have a question from Jeff. Jeff asks, what type of leg training would you recommend to improve explosiveness quickness when you want to avoid gaining any more mass in the legs? When I do heavy squats and deadlifts, my legs get huge and I don't see explosiveness I was hoping to see. Um, we have a real issue here right away, Jeff. Um, quickness especially is very specific. Um, when I say, when someone's quick on a football field, it's radically different than what you would see as quickness uh, in handball or racquetball uh, or, even, or even tennis. So I've always thought that agility and quickness are a lot more specific than maybe other people would argue. I've never been a real believer that you can uh, generally in, improve quickness. Uh, certainly, it, it, with the right toolkit, we can help you be quicker. But so much of quickness... <laughs> I used to coach defensive backs. <laughs> this is I sh should have thought of this right away. But I used to co coach defensive backs. And I would tell them that your eyes are faster than your feet. So when they break the huddle, if you're looking in and, and, and a very, very wide vision... If you're looking for clues uh, when they break and you're and you're paying attention, for example, the guy who jogged out of the huddle eight straight plays is now sprinting up to the line of scrimmage with a big smile on his face. To me, that's a clue that it might be going to him. So, and as they line up and you, uh, we, we number uh, uh, offensive receivers as one, one is the widest, two, and then three, and we have a phrase, one can hurt you, two can kill you. So use your eyes. If one goes inside, use your eyes to pick up two. Why am I saying this? Because it'll look like I'm quickly reacting with my feet, and I'm not making any false steps, but I'm using my eyes for quickness. Uh, I have some equipment here at the home. Uh, we have this device that uh, flickers your eyesight and changes your eyesight and uh, in various ways. Um, I think something like that can improve your quickness because it makes your eyes work harder. I take that lacrosse ball and I stick it under the neck like this and I and I force you to have the startle reflex. But when you bite down like this, you, you, you physically get startled and it, it ruins it. I believe that those kind of things improve. So eyesight improves quickness. Knowing what to do uh, and trusting everybody else increases quickness. Mm -hmm. Now on explosiveness, uh, I've got a one I got a one word answer for you, and that's sprint. I think sprinting is the key. Uh, if you can get yourself to a high school track or a college track, and you know I would even pay the coach uh, if they can set up a speed trap for you, so you come into the speed trap at top speed and maybe they measure you for 10 meters or 20 meters and you just try to improve your time over a couple of weeks, that's going to really be what explosiveness is. Now you can certainly do it by measuring things like the standing long jump and checking for improvement, but speed trap sprinting, uh, and this comes from Mike Boyle, Barry Ross, Charlie Francis, uh, a whole bunch of uh, Division I uh, strength coaches. That seems to be a, a, a superior way to not only test your explosiveness, but to improve it. Because if you're running 20 meters in <laughs> three, three seconds, uh, actually, that was terrible. Uh, as you slide down from three to two nine to two eight, all your other explosiveness qualities are going to be improving too. Um, interesting question. Thank you.